Wisdom lies in gray hair. No, we the youth are capable. We are rising up to also. We are also rising. I thought I was having a job. I thought I was having a job. I thought I was having a job. Okay, okay. You have to discuss. Okay, Jesse, go on. Yes, thank you very much. So what I'm trying to say is, wisdom is not a repository of gray hair. Young as we are, we are discerning. The good people of Jirapa are descending. And we know that enough is enough. As we've told him to sit back and let us take over, mm. there's no way he's going mm. in again. And we wouldn't mark time with an independent candidate who is unable to perform because he has no government or party support. We are looking forward to hope in the young man and would support you see, you him. See, you see, very mm. Jesse is representing the NDC. Dr. Francis B. Dakura is representing the NDC. Dr. Dakura, a quick one. Very quick one. Um, mm. uh, you know, he started talking about youthfulness and ageism and all that. And I don't want to correct him. And I said that, look, let me tell you something. You can be older, but you can have the policies that will support okay. youth development. All and right. that is what I've been doing. Okay. And I know that the youth will return me because they identify my policies as pro-youth. That's what's important. I am grateful. Dr. Francis B. Dakora is representing the NDC. Song Jesse Pienta is representing the MPP in the constituency. That's the Jirapa constituency. And that's what uh, we're coming to you live from, Plus 275. Uh, that's the program that gives you the opportunity to uh, decide who uh, gets the nod to become the member of parliament of your constituency. Now, gentlemen, let's jump into the final conclusion of our conversation this morning. And one key thing from your submissions is about poverty, poverty, poverty and how to reduce it in Jirapa. We're going to do the next uh, few minutes on that issue and see how you can bring, uh, you can help reduce poverty in the constituency. Uh, Jesse, I'm again starting with you. Now, do a diagnosis of poverty in Jirapa and then tell me how your mandate as uh, the member of parliament will see a reduction in poverty in the constituency. Thank you very much, Bright. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, the society is a largely agrarian one. So policies that are to alleviate the poverty situation in the constituency mainly have, agriculture has to dominate in that aspect. And uh, looking at it, the constituency abounds in several natural resources. So as part of the one district, one factory policy, which my flag bearer is bringing on board, God willing, come January 2017, I've already proposed a sheer butter Processing oh, that factory, has been done We've been doing it in which has collapsed. Right. Why is it collapsed? Mm. Uh, because of leadership. To react to it. it has collapsed because of Some leadership. Please go. So, uh, what we would be doing is establish a factory that processes shea butter. We'll be providing jobs for the people. We'll be using local, uh, readily available uh, local produce. And as well, are you aware that? Neighboring Burkina Faso, there's a thriving market called Leo Market, where vegetables are catered from through right through Jirapa constituency, down south and sold. And Jirapa constituency has the land has the potential of producing vegetables in large quantities, which can be commercialized. So what I intend doing is instead of the dugouts which they are trumpeting around saying they have created dams, how can you create a dam without canals and you say you are doing irrigation? It's just a dugout. So what I intend doing is to revamp the agricultural aspect of the constituency. Mm. These dugouts would be transformed, where canals would be created. Irrigation farming would be revamped and given the necessary support, such that vegetables like tomatoes and several others can also be produced in large quantities. Imagine producing vegetables for sale down south, where on a weekly or daily basis, these vegetables are cut down. We have a one factory that is running efficiently due to good leadership. Uh, vegetables are produced in large quantities. Imagine the uh, change that would come to such a constituency. First of all, we'll be eliminating poverty. Secondly, the uh, issue of rural out-migration of our youth will be curtailed because you look at it and say, why then do I have to travel down south when I can stay here and prosper? When I can get a job with a factory? When I can go into dry season farming? I can produce some vegetables in large quantities because due to good leadership, the systems are in place mm. and prosper for myself and family. So in terms of poverty alleviation, Ten more seconds. I would look at it with regards to agriculture and uh, put money into the pocket of the people, as mm. my flag bearer says. Mm. I am grateful. So Jesse Pienta is representing the NPP. The Dr. Dakura, <laughs> now poverty you mentioned is a key uh, thing in Jirapa. 
How do you intend to deal with it, giving the mandate as a member of parliament for the constituency? <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I could see my nephew in serious trouble there because, no, you see, the, 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 the sad thing is that it is his flag bearer who thought about who one village, one dam. And, and if we are talking about dark house, that those should be dark house because it, what is the meaning of a dam? A dam is that you block in the stream. And I don't think that you've got every village of the stream in Ghana. So you should be very careful. In fact, that house I that house have been better uh, a place because yeah, you are, you are no 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 come in come on come in no 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 I'm I'm dealing with your issue because you went on your own that we don't this uh, no, that no, house don't spend too much reacting oh, no, 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 income for our people. That is very important for him to recognize. Number two, you see, he dwells too much on agriculture. I see from his great-grandfather's times, people have been able to farm their way out of poverty in Jirapa. <laughs> Look, please, let me just say something. The truth is that people in Jirapa, if you find families that have done well, they have done well because their children have managed through the bar schools to do well, to go further, to become chief directors. To So for me, to continue to talk about agriculture in Jirapa is just to support economy so that people can get food to eat. Subsistence sustainability is what we're talking about. But if you're talking about if you're talking about poverty, if you're talking, no, no, no. If you, you can come in one of it. If you're talking about poverty, you should talk of investing in the people. In fact, if you, you are not wait, wait, I'm coming. You don't worry, you relax. The truth about Jirapa is that if you look at all those that have done well, there are those that have had good education, who have an opportunity to work very far in their lives, who've supported their parents. And for me, one of the greatest things I want to continue to do is support the children of deprived parents who are in school and you can invest in them to go far, to come back to support free their Free SHS will take and care of that. Free the, you, don't worry, but if you have free HSS, we don't have free university education, please, let's be honest. Let's deal with these issues objectively. The truth is that I continue to invest in supporting education, in supporting the enterprise of women, which there's record of that, mm. and through that, the women themselves can be able to support their children to go to school. The families can have sustainability. If not through that, there's going to be poverty because you have to break that link between the land and poverty. And the only way you build that link is to invest in the children of the poor people themselves and invest in supporting women groups in particular. And I'm saying that if you sit down here to contest that, and how who, who that? tell the people well, of Jirapa? Mainly the who people tell, are mainly who to tell the people of Jirapa? So he's that, rather coming back to what no, 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 no. you come, you, no, no, you, you, you just deal with commercial agriculture. Well, right. no. Look, you cannot use Dr. Dr. Agriculture. Rapper. How do you empower the people? Uh, Dr. Rapper, you go ahead can, and can, can, I, can I finish? You okay. cannot, you go what, ahead and The truth is that if you want to actually talk about agriculture, you've got to talk about, of course, sorry, poverty. Mm. You cannot just talk about subsistence agriculture. Subsistence agriculture is supposed, to, of just it's supposed to support, it's supposed to support nutrition. But he but talks but about the share, uh, uh, share, not the share, the share butter factory. And production of vegetables and he says, uh, in commercial Right, right, right. Let me be honest. He's talking about share butter factory mm. the truth is that you cannot have a share but you can have share butter processing plants which are oh, invented right. in jirapa right. for the women groups but, but you can't have a share butter, butter processing factory plants. look in jirapa have right. one in laura you have just one come back no 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 you then you have one factory a uh, one village one factory or one district one, one, one district one factory it wouldn't work it uh, will work i am grateful gentlemen uh for your time we'll run out of uh, time for the uh, program but i'll give you just a minute each to speak to your people in your local dialect now sum up everything that you have told me and why you think that you are the best person to represent Jirapa uh, in Parliament so that they go ahead and give you uh, your mandate. Just one minute, Jesse, okay. let me start with you in your local dialect. Thank you very much. <laughs> To Boraka, a dread salia bidoko, yanga, a mepe e carne. Come when you'll call no e Senka Zaria, Chebe Birn Zanani command di Jojo. Juanga Tidi Salomaro menye. Tita kara yel pue Bana nangana Tiel kubakabana zempene Bana mena wa era fana bonsu bi pi bela bana. Ten more kubakabayi. Ten more seconds. 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 Ten more seconds.
I am grateful. Sang Jesse Pienta. Dr. Dakura, your uh, time. Bale, yes, ma. Uh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 And see, I'm going to go to the house. You can see the house. I'm going to go to 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 the house. Kati na bang kule atilia naba kati unkoro unbokanso kati unkoro atonye la simadri akara bill cha inteka ana askuga ane asom ayoro school fees kati bill nito ngator school galati koko tena zinte jeva na po kati bata koko cha kati un kati bill gas school aton ngator ten more seconds bana bang wasonte la agang tena dia zinika oh eh 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 tuboka kati anankoro atem zakadi akur Ani a a a a karenti ya inti ukuni karenti ya stumola che a stumola kaka karenti ni ya simadri che ni zawa boko kudia zing akwaro kubio akwaro kubio kubio zaidi iliku yami na akwaro sipoka wame ngator ala kambor kani kanyo saku fees aso kabito ngator azan awatunye yata Francis B Takura is representing the NDC in the Jirapa constituency song Jesse Pienta is representing the NPP in the same constituency we invited the incumbent member of parliament who is an independent and he uh, suggested that we would rather come to Jirapa uh, to do the show <laughs> he is unable to make it to our studios we're grateful gentlemen for your time in our studios and uh, once more let me see you in a sign of unity for our cameras and then you I hope you will translate it when you get back to the constituency. I will, I'll, I'll have to train you a lot. I I'll have to lot. retire permanently <laughs> my uncle this year. I am grateful. I am grateful for your time this morning. We're grateful for those of you there who watched us and those of you in the constituency uh, you have listened to them and you make your choice as to who gets the nod to lead uh, that constituency in parliament.